Hello, this is Jim Smith at GAN Analysis, LLC. You can find me at www.ganalysis.net. Today we're looking at the NASDAQ 100 index. The NDX rallied from the November low in 1990, about 30 years, 360 months, into November, actually a few months beyond it, into January. So it's close enough. If you're off by a month or two on a 30-year cycle, close enough. Same thing here, 252 months is 21 years into March. If we peak here at the end of January into February and turn down, close enough. It's 21 years, big cycle for GAN. 360 months, 30 years, big cycle for GAN. 144 months into November from the low back here into this high. Ideally, I would have liked to have seen a high in November, but oh, so we're off by a month or two. Big deal. You know, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you realize we got to this extreme GAN line on the GAN fan. This is a zero line, actually. It's a GAN fan drawn up from zero. We got to it. We tested it. We got slightly above. Now we're back at it. This was an extreme GAN line. Uh, if you want to look at the one by one, it's way down here. And just for your information, if you're interested, what you're looking at, we're using 15 points per month as the scale for the one by one, which means that the two by one would be 30 points per month, etc. They get more and more steep, the GAN lines, as you go higher. So this one is a very, I honestly didn't think we'd get quite this high, but we did. So this is a bubble rally. You know it's a bubble. You know because you pick up the paper in the morning, you see GameStop is going up 100% a day, 120%. It's, there's a lot of ridiculous things. Tesla's gone nuts. Um, I could go on. You know Reddit, uh, Stock Twits, and um, a range, Robinhood, all these different um, speculative uh, social media are pushing stocks up. It's the kind of thing that happens at a bubble top. And we know that tech stocks have led the way up. So, I mean, look, how it's vertical. The move up is vertical. So what do you want? You want this thing to keep going higher? Well, if you're the Fed, you do not want to see this thing go totally crazy. You're going to have to clean up a bigger mess when it finally sells off. Don't be surprised if the Fed comes out and gives a statement or in a speech. At some point, I expect the Fed to sort of indicate that all this froth is not good for the market. Maybe they're not doing it yet, but I think they will. They know the longer this thing goes up, the more frothy it gets. It becomes counterproductive. I mean, you wind up, everyone becomes a day trader. Nobody's doing any real work. It's not a healthy thing for the market. So I don't believe they can allow this thing to go on. And for that reason, I think people smart money are already figuring out, hey, it's time to sell. So maybe you can't catch the exact top tick of the market, but everyone's looking at this market with a, a jaundiced eye. Everyone knows that this is a bubble. It's not a secret. Uh, you've heard the expression that nobody rings a bell at the top. Well, yeah, they do. They've been ringing it for a while. It's just... We can't necessarily expect to catch the exact top tick. We know that. We know this is crazy. But from a GAN perspective, this looks really awesome. You got to an extreme GAN line on a 21-year cycle, 30-year cycle, 144, 12-year cycle. What more do you want? These are big cycles. And it rallied vertically into it. That is about as good as it ever gets. Time and price. You want a market to go straight up into a cluster of important long-term cycles. Then you know you have a good chance that you're forming a top. Now, could it go higher? Anything's possible with the market. But I think if you see it start to sell off as we move into February, keep in mind, you could go down here, you could go down here, you could go down here. Typically, if it's a bear market, it goes down faster than it goes up, and you saw how fast it went up. So the risk in this market is rather extreme, not to be uh, played with.
I mean, if, if people think that they can day trade their life away uh, just buying GameStop and stuff like that and make a fortune, good for them. But, you know, there's going to come a day when somebody's going to pull the rug out and it's just going to go down like a ton of bricks. I personally think you wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised to see it get down to 6,410 or maybe even 3,285. It's probably one of these GAN lines down here that's going to give us the final low. And what I'm saying is just be ready for total chaos. This thing could really sell off big. And even if you're not that bearish, you think that there's more upside for tech, just keep in mind nothing goes straight up forever. There's got to be some sort of a pullback, at least down to this line. And, you know, that would be around 10,000 area. You know, and from 13,000 down to 10, it's not really that big a haircut given how fast we went up. So I'm saying keep an eye on this market. And if you see it start to sell off as we move into February, know that you're probably starting a correction. I hope this has been helpful. If you want more information, www.ganalysis.net. Thank you for your time.